Slow press and find that wall. Very nice. So, Lexi, we're going to review some of the controls, okay? Right now we have a complete safe weapon. Chamber's empty, poured up, and the safety is on, okay? To load the magazine on this particular gun, we're only going to put one in for now for your comfort and safety, okay? You'll notice on the magazine there's a cut right here, and that is where the rim or the back of the bullet goes into here. It won't work any other way. It actually won't fit unless you put the bullet in the cut, okay? Sound good? Awesome. So now what we're going to do is make sure we got eyes and ears. And I'm just going to fire the gun over here onto the curtain, okay. off the target. That way you can kind of get used to the sound, okay? okay. So here we go. <laughs> You'll notice I'm going to apply the safety. Yeah. And the bolt did lock to the rear, okay? So I'm going to lay this down, pour it up, pull this out. And I'm going to load the magazine for you, okay? Safety on. Bolts closed. I'm going to give this to you so you can find your grip, okay? Good. Take all the time you need with the grip. Remember, we're going to cancel the safety when you're ready to fire, which is pressing down. Good. Reapply your grip. Now, Lexi, line up your sights on any target you choose. Take your time. Don't breathe while you fire and slow, steady press of the trigger. Awesome, now go ahead and put the safety back on for me. Okay. Let's walk down here and see what we got. Uh, which one were we aiming for here? Yeah. Your sight, your muzzle was a little high, okay? Okay. I'll help you line it up next time, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> nothing happened, right? Yeah. No harm, everybody good? Yeah. A little scary, but now we're good, right? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it'd be more scary, but it's not. I'm gonna give this to you, Lexi. The safety is on. Make sure your fingers stay out of the trigger guard, okay? Awesome. Find your grip, take all the time you need. I can cancel the safety for you if you want me to. So you don't have to get perfect. Good. Now which target are we gonna shoot at? Um, upper right. Upper right? Okay. Now I'm thinking that what we're going to need to do is a little more of that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Just put that green dot right on the red dot and slow, steady press the trigger. You're in the black. Oh, that's we have this, we're going to reapply the safety. Look what you did. Hi. Nope, stay right, here, stay right here for me until I put the gun down, okay? You're good. We just never want to have our hands on a gun while somebody goes down range, okay? Very nice. Okay? Very, very nice. Now, I think we can put multiple rounds in the gun, say three or four, and we're always going to shoot the gun until it's empty, okay? What do you think? It was actually good. Like, I think it was a, it's not as scary, so I'm not yeah. that nervous. Very manageable, the 22 is. You're good. Okay, now there's three, okay? Good, find your grip. Lexi, when you shoot the second and third shot, don't bring your hands back to you. Just keep them out front, okay? Cancel the safety only when you're ready. Okay, and let's try the same target. Put that green dot on the red dot and slow, steady press the trigger. Very nice. Shoot again. Yep, all you have to do is Very nice. You can keep your finger on the trigger if you want between shots. Green dot on red dot. Very nice. Good, we're going to reapply the safety. Notice the bolt's open so we know the gun's empty. Very good. Now, here, let's do this. Oftentimes, one of the reasons why the shots are high, sometimes they're low, mm -hmm. is just before the gun gets discharged, once your brain knows about how far back your finger goes before the gun shoots, it starts to help you. 
And what it's trying to do is counteract the recoil. Mm -hmm. So believe it or not, you're actually trying to get ready for the gun to go off and you don't realize it, okay? It's called a pre-discharge push. It happens to everybody. With a little bit of practice, that'll all go away, okay? Yeah. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put five bullets in the gun, okay? And instead of trying to hit the same target, we're gonna practice moving the sights around the target. And what I mean by that is, I don't care what pattern you choose. It's up to, right, it's okay. up to you. So I just take my time doing it, or do I just try to like, go? Take your time, not only after you shoot and are heading to the next one, but while you shoot. Mm -hmm. What we want is five well aimed shots. Good. Awesome, you have to take all the time you need with your grip, okay? Remember when you're ready, you cancel the safety. Only when you're ready, perfect. Thumbs going towards the target. Good. Slow, steady squeeze, five different targets. Good. Take your time. Sight alignment, sight picture. Very nice. Slow, steady, press. Good. Good. Real close. Okay. Now go ahead, safety. Perfect. You're learning quick. Awesome. Yeah. You're doing great. So what do you think so far? Uh, I think I missed a couple. You know what? You're going to miss a couple if you play this game the rest of the time. <laughs> Every time I come in here, I miss a couple. So you got something in common with everybody else. Okay, so now, let's see, we're going to put five more in, okay? Mm -hmm. And I want you to try and make the shots as close together as possible. Okay. Make sense? Back to that grouping and consistency thing. Good. Good. Pick any one you want. Same one. Yep, always on the same target now. And we're gonna to try to make those guys as close together as possible. Good. Yep, good grip. Good. I feel like I thought it was going to be easy to get a good aim, but mm -hmm. now it's like, it's like, I don't even know. Um, Hopefully, this will work for you, okay? Yes. We have five shots, mm -hmm. and what you're going to do this time is shoot faster in between shots. Remember that reconfirmation of the sights we talked about? We don't want to be all over the target, but we're going to try to pick up the cadence of the shots a little bit, okay? And your accuracy mm -hmm. will probably suffer because you're inexperienced, but that's okay. We're going to learn to shoot fast, okay? Mm -hmm. Safety's on, and there's five rounds in the gun. All right. Good. Take all the time you need with the grip to start. Always fundamentals. Good. Cancel safety when ready. And we're just going to pick up the tempo of our shooting a little bit, okay? Very nice safety. While your tempo increases, your consistency also increases. You wouldn't expect that, would you? Uh -huh. And what's going on with this stuff is that we're over aiming the gun. We're trying to find the exact perfect spot, and then all of this stuff starts to happen, and we get fatigued, right? Yeah. And it moves all over, and you're closing your eye, and it's kind of cloudy, that sort of thing. It's amazing what happens when you just get to a natural point of aim and just let things start to take over. Very nice. I'm going to do something for me next time though. We're going to do the very same drill, except we're going to aim on this target and I want to aim right here. Okay? Not here, right there. Okay? And we're going to use that same pick out any target you like. We're going to aim at that lower spot and we're going to increase the cadence or the tempo. Okay, safety, because the gun's okay. empty. So your first two, right here. Yeah. 
Okay? Yeah. Very good. The muzzle has, you're just stacking the sights a little bit, but you're not used to the gun either. It's not, not as clear as people think it is about how to line the sights up. Is it? No. No. It seems, it seems easy, it seems pretty basic, and people will tell you that it is, but believe it or not, I've been teaching this class long enough to know. Lining up the sights is one of the more difficult aspects of it when you get started. I'm going to give you five tries, and we can't really move back because of the filming equipment. So we're going to simulate a longer shot by making it a smaller target. Okay? So before I get gun loaded, I want you to try to hit this stop mm -hmm. right here. Okay? You, which probably means you're going to be aiming somewhere here, but I want you to see if in five tries, you can hit that dot. Right. Okay? Because we don't have to move back to simulate a longer shot. We shrink that target down, it's the same thing to your eye. Okay? Safety's on, and there's five, okay? And we're going for that dot in gray on the top left. Good. Put that front sight post on the dot. Slow, steady, squeeze. Way over the top. Come down a little bit. Close, right there. Closer yet. Slow the trigger pull down. Very close. So go ahead and put the safety on. Now, importantly, when our focus narrows to here, our group narrows too, right? One flyer, no big deal. But notice how when we're aiming big, we miss big. If you can focus on sort of the dot in the dot, good things will happen. Okay? Very nice. Try to shoot one of the close pins. Okay. <laughs> if your aiming stays consistent, that means you're probably going to put the sight at the bottom of the clothespin. Try to take the clothespin out, okay? We, we, we got plenty of them. Uh. <laughs> Good. Grip. Slow the trigger pull down, find the wall. Sight on the bottom of the pin. Put the safety on for me. You got it, first try. <laughs> Very nicely done. Like we talked about in the beginning, it's kind of startling how quickly you can go from, I have no idea what in the world is going on, to now we're starting to pick targets as little as a clothespin. Yeah. And if you just apply, okay? Let's try shooting again. All right. Your safety's on. We're going to go after the same pin, okay? Now, it's a little tricky because it's off at the angle, right? Yeah. So just do your best with it. All right. Four tries to finish off the close pin. <laughs> Moved it. Go ahead and put the safety on. Goodness sakes. <laughs> Oh, man. Nice. We should have started shooting close pins. Lexi, you'd have done a lot better. Yeah. That's fantastic, man. Good for you. So I'm going to clear this out, okay? I really enjoyed taking this class, and it was more easier than I thought, but also harder about the aim, because I thought, like, I'm like, how do I go? It goes right where it's supposed to go, but a lot of mine kind of went off and stuff. But I love learning from him. He was very kind and understanding, so I would definitely be trying to do this again.